In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove the green screen and glows and tints when you're trying to put them in a different backdrop. So the two images I'm going to uh, use on this, I've got this image right here, this green screen, so I'm going to take them and put them into this background scene here. So I'm going to jump into Photoshop, and the first thing I need to do is I need to kind of remove uh, the green screen area. So probably the easiest way to do that is if we go ahead and just click on the quick selection tool up here or press W. And to resize this, uh, you, can all, you can come up here sometimes, but I usually just use the bracket keys on my keyboard and make sure your tab is not on. Uh, and then you just kind of start clicking and just getting a rough uh, selection of uh, the things that you want to keep. So don't get too, um, if it gets too much, don't worry too much about it. Uh, it usually does do some of that. And the biggest challenge is going to be hair, uh, maybe some of these fingers and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and I need to get rid of that now. So if you hold on the Alt key or you can click on the negative up here uh, and you can kind of ease back off of it. But once again, don't worry about it being absolutely perfect, otherwise you'll drive yourself crazy. So I'm going to jump back over here and then select uh, over here on this and try and get it selected as best as you can. And I'm kind of clicking. If you click and drag to try and get the whole thing, sometimes it grabs too much. And you can press Command Z or if you're on a PC you can do, um, you can do Control Z or you can do alt to kind of back off on there but don't try and make it all perfect in the first shot it won't happen a lot so I'm going to alt to zoom in a little bit to get a little bit closer bracket keys to kind of get in there as best as I can um, so I'm holding down the space bar to kind of pan uh, so I'm just trying to get that as best as I can I think I did okay over here. So that's kind of the first step. Once I've got that on there, um, I'm ready to mask it out. So up here there should be a button, select and mask, and I'm going to click on that. <clears throat> Sometimes it's uh, labeled as something else. And now uh, if it's on this onion skin, you've got some options up here. I usually come down to this overlay so I can kind of see and you've got a couple options up here so I'm going to click on this hair one and this is where bracket keys again and this is where you kind of just go along the sides of the hair a little bit and it kind of helps you to select that um, and I'm not going to worry too much if I don't get it perfect maybe even along some of the edges too let me come over here and kind of select, especially in there, it's going to really be a little tough. Um, sometimes on the edges of uh, the subjects too, you can kind of play with this a little bit and it tries to grab those edges. Um, but you're just trying to do that just a little bit here and there. So like here it didn't do a very good job. Uh, for something like that, you may want to jump back to this guy and just kind of add that back and then go back onto the kind of the more detailed fine cut um, on there and then once again on the shoes it looks like it kind of did a number on there so I'm just going to try and add that back um, as best as I can and hopefully so I'm just kind of I'm doing a lot of clicking to just try and get that just right and I missed that spot on the watch Go back to the hair. I'll try it there a little bit more. And then the strands is where this really is helpful. Is anytime there's like strands on hair, it gets crazy. It's definitely helpful up there. Um, so I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. And then when I'm ready, I'll go ahead and click OK. That'll just zoom out a little bit. So I've got it selected to the best of my ability. And now I'll just go ahead and click on the little mask 
icon and that will basically cut it out uh, on there. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and throw in my background just to kind of see what it's looking like with that. I can still see some of those green tints uh, down there on the shoes so I'll address that here in a minute but before I do that I'm just going to take my image drop that in here and give it a minute and then this one didn't come in at the highest quality so it might be a little pixelated and preferably you want to have an image that doesn't come in like this but it'll it'll touch up a little bit so press return and then take that layer and put it underneath uh, and then that'll show through so now I'm left with them in there and I could be done at this point but I kind of want to get rid of some of these tints um, especially on the hair here maybe on some of the edges so I want to do a little bit of touch up work uh, on this so to do that I'm going to create a brand new layer and so I just clicked on that and I'm going to click on I'm just going to name this hue for now and if you hold down the alt key um, and go in between it will basically just indent and kind of force itself to go on just this part and that's important otherwise it'll go on the whole thing and I don't want that to happen um, so now I can come over here and go down to hue on this too and with the brush tool now I'm gonna remove some of this tint as best as I can and hopefully it does a pretty good job so uh, with the brush tool uh, click on the eyedropper tool and I just want to click and if you don't want to do that when you're on the brush tool you can also hold down the alt key and it'll go right to that and then now I just have to go and just kind of so I'm just kind of tagging this color that shows up and now if I kind of go over the top it kind of removes that so alt to tag and then you just kind of remove um, when you get like on the skin you just kind of tag it and it kind of removes that and helps you to not see that tint. White's probably the harder area to do this with, um, but you can go all the way around where you see that green tint and just kind of remove that. Um, targeting every once in a while, like on this black, I'm going to retarget uh, to kind of remove that. I'll kind of come over here and do it over here too. So there's this tint over here. So hold down the Alt key and just kind of grab some of the darker part of the hair maybe and then just kind of go over the top or try and get some of the lighter area if you think that'll work better. And it just helps you kind of remove that, that, gr that glow effect that you really don't want uh, on your subject. So and you can, I can do the same for like this sweatshirt here, <clears throat> uh, Alt click and then just kind of remove uh, and I can just kind of keep working around um, down here where the shoes are so I'm holding down spacebar to kind of pan around this one's a little bit tougher section so alt to kind of tag and then you just kind of go in so like here it's not doing that great of a job it works better whenever it's like a color so here you kind of have to get a little bit and sometimes even clicking on something else that's not even in that area. So I just I just want to remove that tint. And you could manually change it there too. So I think I'll just kind of try and go in and change that, that whole shoe maybe. And then that whole shoe on there too. Uh, over here I'm kind of noticing I, I kind of missed something. I'm missing some of the shoe on there. So if you ever notice that, you can actually go back onto the mask layer and with white on top, you can go to the brush and you can re kind of add that on there. And I think there was one over here too. So if I add that back on there and then I brought too much, so flip that back over to black and then kind of bring it in and just try and get that back to where it was. So go back to my hue layer and then alt to kind of get back and I'm actually already on that same color so now I can just kind of remove, remove that green tint, targeting every once in a while. Oh, I didn't quite do it on there. 
Uh, and as you can see, this will take a while, but you can remove that tint and that's how you get them in there.